we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times just begun Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright So it's Saturday, one week till Easter and I figured that today I would be painting some chicken eggs because I am currently drowning in chicken eggs. Um, basically I feel like I go to stages where I do want to eat eggs and then I go through phases where I just can't stand the thought of eating eggs and I'm currently in that phase and I also haven't had time to bake anything from the eggs. So. I have quite a few because it's spring even though the weather is not very springy right now. It is spring so the chickens are laying quite frequently. I currently have two broody hens and, um, and then three more that are actually also laying. Sometimes they go and lay underneath the two broody chickens. So currently I don't really want any chicks or oh, well I would I would love some silky chicks, but I don't want any more roosters. And usually if you hatch eggs, you'll end up with at least a few roosters. So we're not going to do that now, because you can't obviously have many roosters in one coop. So either you have to have a separate coop for the roosters, or you have to get rid of some. So and that's always kind of difficult to find new homes for them because there is a lot of roosters, since you can't keep many. Anyways, I'm going to do some chicken coop chores and then get inside and paint some chicken eggs. Thank you, Odin.
Okay, so I am back inside and I put on a little bit of makeup and a headband because my hair is dirty. Anyways, um, so the plan now is I think to do this in a new kind of way. So before we would always boil the eggs, then paint them and then eat them later. But I don't... But since I no, don't really feel like eating eggs right now, and also I don't want to destroy my hard work. So I'm going to attempt a new kind of way, which is to empty the eggs and then paint them so they will last pretty much until I crack them. Um, and then I'll just scramble the insides and give it to the chickens and probably Frodo for food. So nothing goes to waste and I don't have to eat egg. And as you can see, I have quite a bit of eggs here, so there should be enough. I promised to give my mom some, but I think I'll paint... But I think I'll do like maybe nine or ten of these. Eight to ten eggs for this project. And then this one I actually accidentally just cracked, so that one I also have to throw in with the scrambles. So I will start by cleaning the eggs and then we'll see if I can make a hole in them and get them empty. I've never done this before and it, it sounds kind of scary but apparently that is the way that is the traditional way of doing it so. So I read some instructions online and it said to prick a hole in both ends of the egg with a uh, pin and then carefully make it a bit larger, especially in the bottom one, where you're going to blow out the insides. And once I used the, the egg carton to hold the egg in place, this was actually working pretty well. And then I took this barbecue um, stick and I put it in, in the bigger hole and swirled it around to break up the egg yolk because that is how you'll get it out. If it's whole you probably won't get it out. And then you just blow in the top hole and the insides will come out in the bottom end. And this maybe needs a bit of a gross warning. Um, personally, I, uh, I wanted to eat eggs even less after doing this procedure. So. Okay, so I got the hang of emptying them, but whew, I feel like I'm going to pass out. It's so much work, so I, I might have to rethink the amount of eggs that I empty, but... Whew. Okay, so I have my eight eggs emptied. Uh, once I got the hang of it, it did go pretty smoothly, but yeah, it was a lot of work. Now I think I'm going to wash them again and then I figured I would do a kind of natural coloring first. So I'm going to use um, a little bit of my henna, a little bit of my indigo and then some other natural um, plant-based um, colorants and try to um, dye them first and then I'll paint something on some of them and some of them I'm just going to leave naturally dyed. So we'll see how that goes.
so here are some scrambled eggs for the chickens and I also ground up some dried uh, eggshells for them and put in some frozen berries just for some extra vitamins. test was, I'm not going to say a complete failure, but definitely not what I had in mind. I think that if I had given it uh, a lot more time, like left, it, left them there for like 12 hours, 24 hours, the result probably would have been better. But they were still kind of the wrong color, even if they had gotten more color on them. So the ones that I uh, thought would be uh, red or orange uh, became green, and the one that I and the ones that I tried to dye green became a sort of very light orange. So, but if you just want to do plant dyeing, um, leave them in the dye for like 24 hours, and they probably have a lot more. Um, uh, but since I plan on painting on mine anyways, I'm just not going to bother with the plant dye. I just don't have the time or the interest to wait for them to get the dye on them, so instead I am going to start painting now. So here's just a quick look at what the eggs look like after I had had them in the plant dye for I think like four hours maybe, so four hours didn't do a lot, they're kind of pretty but not what I had in mind. Guess who 
after like four hours of editing and um, trying to get a thumbnail for the video, dropped and cracked Oliver's egg, the bunny egg. Uh, because of course I did. Well, it stays together, I guess, and it's not that special, but still made me kind of sad. So, hmm. thanks for watching. <laughs>